This is the investigation digging deeper into explosive allegations in a new inmate death lawsuit against the Mecklenburg County Jail. The suit claims Sheriff Gary McFadden told staff he had to cover up jail issues. Now, these are issues investigative reporter Naomi Coles has been digging into for months, and today she sat down exclusively with the attorneys behind the new allegations. This is Russell Fincham. He died two years ago at just 25 years old of a fentanyl overdose inside the Mecklenburg County Jail. An overdose a lawsuit claims jail staff knew he was at risk for days before he died. Russell Fincham should be here today. His death was preventable. Not just Fincham, though. Renard Dixon and Anthony Burtz are two of three attorneys representing Fincham's family in this new federal lawsuit. They say both his and seven deaths before him could have been prevented if state correction plans and safety check rules were followed. The same ones that were supposed to have been corrected by each and every death that preceded his that we mentioned in our complaint and they just weren't done. The lawsuit says Fincham died after a 12 hour period where jail staff ignored his serious overdose symptoms all while supposed to be following a rule to visually check on him twice an hour. Attorneys have video for the last two hours before his death. It was hard to watch him continuously throw a black bow um, on video. And, you know, you, you have no one coming to provide aid for him. There were several instances of what appeared to be nonchalant conduct. In your lawsuit, there's no date, no source for the quote, but that quote says, quotes Sheriff McFadden as saying that he had to cover it up when talking about jail issues. What can you tell me about why that allegation was put in the lawsuit or where that came from? We went through a very thorough investigation. We believe we can support every allegation we put in our complaint. Their lawsuit alleges Fincham was finally given Narcan after he had stopped breathing, hours after he had started vomiting black bile. For Fincham, both the Narcan and any attempts to fix the lawsuit's core allegation of deliberate indifference from Sheriff McFadden and jail staff have come too late. All of these deaths were preventable in our opinion, but for the customs and practices of Mecklenburg County Detention Center. Reporting at the Mecklenburg County Jail, Naomi Coles, WBTV, on your side. Now, you will not see the video Naomi talked about in that story. That's because North Carolina state law makes that video secret unless it's ordered release by a judge. Giving you a